you can purchase people as allies. Alright, not many... Oh, okay, I was just going to say not many people were going to go through there, and then all of them went through there. Uh, friendship isn't cheap. You can spend silver to get uh, people to ally with you. All right, this is going to be messy. But it should be alright. See how it goes. How are our people uh, arranged back here? Right, I think that'll do. Great. So once again, they're using the, these these turrets. They're blowing them up, but they're standing around them, so they're actually making um, blasting charges out of them. It's just killing them off themselves. Yeah, I think we're going to be all right here. Going to cost us a small fortune in turrets again. But I'm kind of getting used to that now. Right, you guys, fall back. There we go, another one dead. Yeah, that went well. That went well. Need to do something about this though. I thought this was going to actually help us, but it's not, so I'm just going to wall the thing off. Right! <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm kind of used to having a pain to have to get compliments. Right, let's get people sorted out here. Um, have we lost anyone? No, it doesn't look like we have. So, all you guys... Undraft you. I'm going to call this a failed experiment, so I'm just going to pull that off. And let's get the, some plans in place for this to be rebuilt again. But first off, let's get these corpses cleaned up, shall we? Alright, so they can all be hauled. And these weapons can be hauled. We could use a combat supplier once again. I yeah, I have had a quick look. If you look, there's uh, nobody unconscious. They're all dead. Uh, this time, this point of the game, to be totally honest with you, um, the weapons you, they, they, they're using are just too powerful. Right, let's get some. Hands laid down for them to rebuild things. This is becoming a slight problem. We seem to be doing so much damage during the attacks now that we're actually starting to blow out that back wall. So we might have to do something about that fairly soon. Alright, what I'm hoping now is we will have a little bit of time without too many fights where we can actually start building a bit more of the ship because we can't carry on doing this much more <laughs> yes I like I do love that fact the, the combat survivors they they've they've traveled the the depths of space they've they've gone from planet to planet and they're gonna buy my vast selection of short bows and spears. Yeah. I do love that bit. Actually, is there anybody... Oh. Hmm, let's just select someone. Is there anybody... No, there's no merchants going overhead at the moment. Right, but yeah, um, I'm starting to dread that, that lag. Because it means... Yay! Another 150 people are going to come and attack me. But fortunately, this does seem to be working a little bit better now. I put these sandbags in the middle. So, fingers crossed, that might help us for a bit. 
<laughs> and they're going to sell them for scrap. All right, there we go. That's the plans laid out again. Let's speed that up. Let people get tracking on that. We've run out of metal again, it looks like. So, more mining plans in place. All right, there's plenty of metal there being mined. A little bit more there. Do you want to know what my name means? Yeah, go on, tell me. What does my name mean? Uh, it's a bit more mining up here. Find that metal. Got to catch them all. <laughs> he who hears. All right. No, that's way too far to go. Is uh, that? Yeah, that's also way too far to go. All right. Okay, hear slash listen. I would say that there is a vast difference between hearing and listening. There's a lot of people that listen, there's a very few people that hear. Or is it the other way around? It's the other way around. How are we doing? Building things up nicely again. Suffering from a lack of metals, but there's plenty of metal up here. It just needs to be hauled And we don't appear to be having much done in the way of hauling If anyone a new person Right in the middle of our, our territory Tigris Would you kindly go and uh, escort that person to uh Thank you. Doesn't seem to be having much of the way of construction going on. Yes, there's a lot of people who hear, but there's very few people who listen. That's the right way around, isn't it? Uh. So, actually, let's have a look at this person first. A space refugee. A little bit of talent at mining, a little bit of talent at construction and growing. And a good crafter. Okay, we want you. You're greedy and cowardly, but we want you. Voodoo year grew up pulling carts and digging holes in a medieval world. Simple manual labor is her oldest companion, along with the master's lash. And after becoming a medieval slave, she became an inventor. Perhaps she invented different sorts of wheels or something. On her homeworld, Vyodir worked as a moderately successful inventor. She developed several minor technologies. Alright. That gives us the crafting bonus. So, yep, we want you. So we will try to recruit you and we will friendly chat with you. <laughs> oh, I... Look, you guys have got to understand, okay? Uh, um, I absolutely adore Laura, okay? And she's a wonderful, wonderful person. I'm very, very glad that uh, she is a friend of mine, okay? So please understand that. And understand something else, all right? She gives as good as she gets. Right, so her... She might not be as, as quick off the mark when it comes to uh, to comments, but... Believe me, she is very, 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 very good at making the biting comment when needs be. Besides, she might send India, set India on me. Now, that's a scary thought. Alright, I think we need to make you a bed, don't we? Yeah, we need to make you a bed. Let's make you a nice bed. And then when that's built, we'll remove that uh, sleeping spot. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, precisely. She's my daughter. Oh dear. You know how sad it is when grown women start calling you a father figure? Raven, build me a wall. Makes me feel old. <laughs> You don't need to be scared of Laura. She absolutely adores you lot. And anybody who could watch her Sims videos and give her an excuse to spend three quarters an hour dressing a toddler, she loves you all. And that's one of the reasons why she's such a good Let's Player, because she's she's happy, she's fun, she enjoys talking to everyone, and she, she just loves doing this. So I mean, nobody could really criticize her. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, so children separated by having different parents. You're right. How are we doing? All right, we built one engine, and we've nearly built another. So launch report. Right, we cannot launch cry crypto crypto sleep pods. We need some crypto sleep pods. So let's start building some crypto sleep pods. That new area has been revealed. Ooh, all right. Little underground cavern area. Nice. Right. Okay. Let's build some crypto sleep pods. I'd never noticed they'd called them crypto sleep pods before. One like that. Three. And I just imagine... Oh, we can't put one there because the ship's in the way. Can we put it like that? We can't. Okay, so... The sakes of... Balance, let's get rid of that one as well. So... One, two, three, four... Yeah, just, yeah let's have a quick look at this. One, two... That's eight on there. How many colonists do we have at the moment? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we are going to need more than just those two supports. So let's put in. We wanted to do this for a while, actually. Let's put one in there. One in there. Right. More building on the ship. Hello, Dad, Nicole. Welcome to the stream. It's nice to see so many people coming along. Um, given this is a, a, a bit late to the game, I don't think I said hello to you either. Um, given this is not my normal um, live streaming sort of time, I was wondering how many people would turn up. And uh, quite a few. Adorable. Yes, everything's got to be adorable. Including toddlers with unfeasibly complex hairstyles. Trust me, anybody who's ever raised a, a toddler will know that you do not want to give them a complex hairstyle. It's just too painful. Someone living in that room? Nobody's living in that room. Right, we'll move someone in there in a bit. How are you getting along? Oh, I think we're going to get you fairly soon. Excellent. Uh, a new area has been revealed. Is that the same area as before? That's the same area as before. But at least we're finding some metal now. So it looks like we're probably going to get out of here during this live stream. I get out of here or get dead, one or the other. Let's see how we do, shall we? Yes, this is this is RimWorld. It was a, a Kickstarter year before last, last year, something like that. I backed it, and I'm really glad I did because it's an excellent game. Uh, actually, thinking all that money we got, perhaps we can buy some peace and quiet now. Let's see if people will talk to us. So, let's talk to them first. Do I ever want to swim in a pool of melted? Chocolate. No, is the simple answer to that. <laughs> um, yeah, I started about 
Yeah, it's about an hour now. Right, they don't want to talk to us anymore. Um, Barrow, don't wander off. Still got a job for you. Cool Combra of the Crag. No, they hate us as well. And finally, let's call the pirates and see if we can buy them. No, right. We cannot buy the peace from anyone anymore. Uh, yeah, okay, this is my series. This is one of my Let's Plays on my YouTube channel. I've been playing this one now for a few months, and this is RimWorld Alpha 4. And there's a couple of reasons why I want to get this finished. One of which is the fact that uh, um, we've been playing this for a little while now and the game is actually a little bit unbalanced at this point. So we just can't cope with the attacks much anymore. The other one is the fact that Alpha 8 is going to be coming out fairly soon. So um, I want to get this series finished, have a little bit of a break and then create another one. Oh, excellent. We're taking those apart now for metals. Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely wonderful. So, actually, yeah, quick poll. Okay. Um, you can buy peace if they dislike you, but it looks like if they hate you, can't. But anyway, getting back to it, quick poll. Um, we've got the three series now. Um, there's Magical Diaries, there's Lauren, and there's one on my channel now as well. Um, if you, I'm, I'm hoping you guys will watch them. And if you have, which one's your favourites? You know, I know Fading Hearts is a bit new, and Lauren is a bit RPG, and Magical Diaries is a bit, well, mad. What do people like? Oh, Shizzy! I might hire you as my publicist. Thank you. Oh, a trade ship is passing by. They're an industrial trader. Excellent. Perhaps we can sell them some junk. Uh, Bero, dear boy. Bero, where are you? Oh, all the way over the other side of the map. That won't do. Come down here and make a phone call for me. So we've got one for Lauren, one for Magical Diaries, two for Magical Diaries. Eight constructions of missing materials. They're run out of metal again. Well, that's not surprising. Oh, it took you a while to get down there, didn't it? Okay, what are these guys selling? Let's buy that metal. Shame we didn't have time to pick up that uh, uranium because we would have sold it off to him. But never mind. I think considering the amount of money we've got, this is a good investment. Right, so. Anyone watching this at the moment not actually seen any of them? We've got all the engines made now. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh dear. So, so, I have so much fun doing Ellen. And I, I'm actually starting to... There's a few words that I hear in my head in her voice. One of them is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It's, I think it's absolutely brilliant. And William... Um, happen to, happening to know a William, that's getting a bit embarrassing because I only ever hear his name now in my head is William. What's happening there? A food trader. I don't want a food trader than I used to meet. Oh, interesting. You haven't watched Magical Diaries. I strongly suggest you do so because it's the one that started it all off. Um, and there's about 20, uh, 20 episodes of it now, I think. So, if you have the time, go and watch it. Because it, I, I, people seem to like it, let's put it that way. And besides, none of the Damien jokes going to make sense until you've gone and watched it. <laughs> 